Alright, I'm about to play Ice Ice Baby. I haven't really watched this video and commentated about all the memories that I have around this video, so we're going to watch it together and uh, listen and make some comments about this video and see what my memory brings up. I remember spray painting. I used to spray paint and graffiti everything. Yo, VIP. Vanilla Ice Posse. Let's kick it. Uh. Alright, stop. Collaborate and listen. I sit back with my brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Flow like a hawk daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights Ooh. and I'll glow. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal. Light up a stage and watch a chump like a candle. Dance. Caress the speaker that booms. I'm killing your brain like a poisonous mushroom. Deadly. When I play a dope melody. I mean, right there, killing your brain like a poisonous mushroom. Just pff, amazing, you know? I wrote this song when I was 16 years old. And um, to watch it now is amazing because of what I've been through and what this song and just going back when I was a kid and we couldn't even afford to make a video. We had to scrounge up, Tommy and I had to scrounge up 5,000 bucks to make a video. You know, it was on a big camera with tape and we didn't have smart devices like this. You know, we didn't have any computers. This is before all that. So for us, it was a, it was a moment that was uh, incredible because we never thought, you know, computers were coming and it, it would just ruin the world and the way we did everything, but uh, let's let's continue on. Then the best is a felony, love it or leave it. You better gain weight, you better hit pools out of kid, don't play. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. I always love a challenge, so I had to throw that in there. If there's a problem, yo, I'll solve it. <laughs> I still use that today. I always like a challenge, even in construction or whatever it is. Okay, Vegas, let's talk about this. This is a confusing line throughout the years. Everybody, 99% uh, of the people get it wrong, okay? I do not say Vegas. It sounds like Vegas, like Las Vegas. It does not say Vegas. It's Vegas, okay? I don't know how to spell it. It's Sirwin Vegas, V-E-G-A-S. I guess, but uh, it's Serwin Vegas subwoofers. It's I come from the generation that invented the bass in your car, so uh, we would rip out our back seat and put in subwoofers. So I had 15 inch Serwin Vegas subwoofers in the back of my 5.0, uh, four of them, and I built the speaker box and we had Rockford Fosgate amps and uh, about a thousand watts, which was a lot back then. And uh, yeah, we had to take a screwdriver and tighten our license plate up everywhere we went, and it would be, you know, bass all the way up. You never turned it down. There was never halfway volume. It was all the way up, all the time. So that's uh, the story about what a Vega is, as a Serwin Vega subwoofer. <laughs> Big misconception. Let's go. Cooking MCs like a pound of bacon. Burning them. If you ain't quick and nimble. I go crazy when I hear a cymbal and a hi hat with a souped up tempo. I'm on a roll. It's time to go solo. Rolling. It's hard not to sing. With my rag top down so my hair can blow. The girl is on stand by. Rolling in my 5.0. Rag top down so my hair can blow. Who would have ever thought that'd be so iconic? You know, the 5.0 is iconic. Rolling down A1A in my 5.0. And who would have ever thought that now we have an energy drink called the 5.0? <laughs> joy burst it symbolizes the 90s you know before computers ruined the world it's z cavricis and fanny packs and neon colors and air force ones and air jordan and what else man blockbuster video beavis and butthead just all the greatness of everything girls gone wild this was this was the 90s man the greatest the last of the great decades actually oh this memory is uh, amazing. To the next stop. I bust a left and I'm heading to the next block. The block was dead, yo. So I continued to A1A Beachfront Avenue. Now let's get that right. It's Beachfront Avenue, not no Detroit Avenue. I don't know anything about Detroit. I grew up in Texas and Miami. So uh, just let's get that straight right now. If you ever thought it said that, it doesn't. It says uh, A1A Beachfront Avenue. So that's the street that runs along the beach, basically the famous street highway uh, original from basically Jacksonville to uh, 
It's Key West, actually. That's pretty cool. And uh, that's what that's about. And the whole song is about rolling in my 5.0. Let's just go there because I was going up and down every street on A1A uh, and cruising in South Beach, of course. And uh, that's what I wrote the song about, you know? So if you listen to it, I'm just cruising in my 5.0. Rock men lovers driving Lamborghinis. You know what that means? That means I used to see these guys <laughs> rolling down South Beach all alone, no passenger, in a Lamborghini with their shirt off and an Italian horn necklace. And we called them Guidos. <laughs> I don't know what that even means. But, oh, look, there goes a Guido. That was my friend would say that. And I go, what does that mean, man? He goes, you know, the guys are all alone. They can't get a chick. So they, they're all steroided up with their shirt off rolling down A1A in a Lamborghini. There was quite a few of them. Anyway, we made fun of them. Yeah, we always heard gunfire around South Beach. This is before Versace died. This is when it was uh, not as pleasant of a neighborhood as you know it as now. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. Man, these dance moves are flawless. They're a total OG. And these are my dance crew I've danced with since I was 14 years old, man. A couple of them slept on, on the floor and the couch. We'd just get in where we fit in. We'd stay up all night. We make it hype. And you want to step with this. Shape plays on a fade, slice like a ninja, cut like a razor blade so fast. Other DJs say, damn, a rhyme was a drug, I'd sell it by the gram. Keep my composure when it's time to get loose. Magnetized by the mic when I kick my juice. If there was a problem, yo, Magnetized by the mic when I kick my juice. No doubt about that. All right, you see that wall in the background that's graffiti? Hold up, they sued me. <laughs> I had to pay them. I remember settling out of court just so it didn't get any further, but they sued me because of that mural on the wall. I didn't know you could do that. A lot of other people sued me too. Not just David Bowie and Queen, but uh, you know that was when sampling was a big thing and uh, we didn't know any better. It was, it was just part of hip hop, but uh, once you sell millions of records, you're gonna know. <laughs> if you don't sell millions of records, go sample anything you want. Nobody cares, but when they see you making money, they're gonna come after you with the lawyers. That's JB's daughter. She's full grown now. Golly, time, man. She was just a little kid there. Yo, man, let's get out of here. Where to your mother? Listen, it's a classic, man. Who would have ever thought this song would go on to sell, right now, a little bit over half a billion records? Phenomenal, uh, half a billion records. This is the most sold hip hop record of all time. The most played in music video of all time. I mean, just amazing that this took on a life of its own, you know, because I, uh, I didn't know. I, I mean, this was the B side of, of my record. We had an A and a B side. I actually flipped it so that some DJ, not some DJ, uh, Dave Morales over in, uh, in Georgia, he flipped that and People were like, yeah, I hear this song, man. Cause Ice, I, uh, Ice Ice Baby was a B-side, so it was uh, Play That Funky Music was the A-side. And um, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, I'm actually not a one hit wonder. I, <laughs> I know Ice Ice Baby is very big and overpowering, but we do have uh, a lot of actually top 100 hits. Uh, I think six, seven, maybe more from the Ninja Rap, uh, Play That Funky Music, Stop That Train. There's so many songs. So it's kind of a, a funny thing, but uh, you know, To The Extreme is the highest selling hip hop album of all time. And the funny thing is it still sells probably three to four million a year, every year. And that's not just in America. It could be in Russia, China, Thailand, just combined. And it's incredible that it's still going 30 years after. And uh, here we are. And I'm watching my video from when I was, I wrote this song when I was 16, you know? This is an incredible journey, I mean, one day I'll sit on the front porch and just talk about all the craziness, but uh, 
Thank you guys for listening throughout the years. Thank you for enjoying and dancing with us. And uh, always remember, smiles are contagious. Get it out, you live it. Follow your dreams. Have your ambition, your drive, your purpose, your meaning. And you too can be successful at whatever you do. And I'm wishing you all the best. VIP. Coming on the bread phone. Money fan, put your fans out. Everybody got bands.